Don't be digging in my boxes. Okay. <laughs> Hi, my name is Jessica Wyckoff. I'm the Fresh For All program manager at Phil Abundance. Um, so Fresh For All is a program. It's a free fruit and vegetable distribution. We also occasionally have baked goods and bread. Uh, we operate 12 sites in the Delaware Valley, six in Pennsylvania and six in New Jersey. Each week at the site we bring between awesome. three and 5,000 pounds yeah. of food and each site serves between 180 to 250 households um, a day. And each site operates year-round, rain or shine, unless there's severe weather, temperatures below freezing. Yeah. Yeah. And everybody sort of gets to know the schedule. We try to have a reliable um, system, so we're here every week, same time, same place, um, at each location. The Fresh for All sites, when they were first established, um, there was sort of some mapping done of, based on the neighborhoods, whether there's access to fresh produce um, and things like that. So that's where our sites are located, where there traditionally wasn't access, wasn't a farmer's market, wasn't a grocery store. And I think that's had a really good impact on the neighborhood, giving people access, especially since it's um, free. A lot of times in the grocery store, fruit and vegetables are the most expensive thing. So definitely opening people up to seeing what's out there and not be worried and burdened by the price change the food everything that we give out here is donated so it's either from a local farmer a grocery store a regional sort of produce distributor or directly from the distributor like Chiquita or something like that so it really depends on what we have in the warehouse is what gets allocated to our site um, and there's a whole food acquisition department at Phil Abundance that brings in the food sources the food and then an inventory department which places our orders so our main job is just distributing on site so it's usually a variety and things change week to week and seasonally definitely so um, I think there's a little bit of something for everybody. Um, one of our main challenges is just uh, within the neighborhood. We try to pick um, spots that are sort of not necessarily residential, so like a church or a parking lot such as this one, um, away from housing because uh, people do line up sort of early for the program. So that can be a disruption to the neighborhood if they leave trash behind or if they get there too early and it's too loud. Um, so we just try to work with the clients and with our neighbors to sort of understand that we're only here once a week. We try to keep it as minimally minimally invasive to the neighborhood as possible. So most of the volunteers at the site, when we first established a site, which we haven't done in a while, most of them have been up and running for a couple years, but we do like a press release in the local papers and a call for volunteers. We got a lot of people that way. Uh, we also have some corporate sponsors um, for Phil Abundance and just donors in general who they'll send out a group once a month or something, so they'll come to help out. Uh, we occasionally work with student groups. We have a group from St. Joe's right now coming out for the semester. Uh, it really depends, but most of our volunteers are here every week, sort of year in, year out, um, all weather, and they're really just great members of the community or of a church or a local uh, nonprofit or anything like that. So minute. Okay. It's about Phil Abundance and how they truly are driving hunger from this community. I've been here for about three years now. Uh, Jessica, maybe so. And I've also had a uh, young one that I've been watching and he's now three. So we've started when he was six months old. In the stroller we came. Week after week. When the weather was sunny, blue skies like it is today, or when it was rainy when it was like a little snow, but not too cold. Phil Abundance has been there. They are bringing the bountiful, fresh fruits and vegetables to yeah. all of us. I, I work for Phil Abundance. I'm one of the drivers for the Fresh Roll program. We're out here in University City with very lovely people, appreciative to us. All I do is get thank yous and if it wasn't for us, we probably wouldn't eat some of them. It helps them a lot as far as their cost of fruits and vegetables. I like dealing with the people. And I've been here for two years. I worked with three girls, which is great. <laughs> three young girls, Mindy, Wind, uh, Jess, and Georgia, which do a lot of work out here to help people give food to them.